Hello, how you doing today? My name is Ricardo Cordu, and I'm a new author of Rise Up and Pray. And I want to actually talk to you today about Rise Up and Pray. And also, I want to talk to you about the 21-Day Challenge. Um, no matter where you're at, no matter when you get this book, the 21-Day Challenge is not only important to me, but it should be important to you. Um, this, is he this book is here to, to help transform your thought process about God and prayer, but also to impact you like never before. And I want to kind of talk a little bit about the 21 day challenge. And actually, you can go to my website, ricardocordu.com, and it's R I C A R D O C O R D E W.com. And actually, go on there and register to join the actual challenge so I can um, so I can get your information. And then I usually try to reach out and say hello to you and see how you're doing. And if you have any questions, you always can email me back. But also, we have a private call that we do on Tuesday at 11.30 p.m. for 15 minutes. And um, I kind of talk about that week and about Rise Up and Pray. And, you know, it's just an amazing call, and I would love for you to join me on the call. But also, uh, let's let's get in a little bit about the 21-day challenge. And basically, it's 21 days of, of praying. I'm going to actually do some praying, and I'm going to actually do some, some different things that I call tools in the book. And actually, the next video, I'm actually going to talk to you about the different tools. But this video, I just really want to talk about the 21 days uh, prayer challenge, rise up and pray, and you know a little bit about me and 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 why I did this book, and and it, it just really it just this book is just impactful to me. And so basically, back in May, I actually encountered a time period of prayer, and um, I kind of talk about it in the book a little bit. But you know, I was I was going through some things and. You know, I was I was upset at the enemy because it feel like I was fighting and I'm praying, I'm doing some things, and I'm just like, God, why isn't this working? You know, I'm trying to live an upright life. I'm trying to do the best things that I can do daily, and I'm consistently trying to do more in you. And so, um, I have I have a, a great um, a great amount of people in my life that are, are good friends and. Uh, they they challenged me into this uh, 21 day challenge of you know not complaining and, and, and not uh, gossiping and different things like that and and from that spawned me praying for 21 days and um, as I went through this journey I decided to write it down and uh, not only did this impact me but it impacted others as I was going through the 21 days and I just felt like I should share this with the world and uh, Rise Up and Pray is a, it's a wonderful book. You actually can go to my website and order it, ricardocordu.com, or actually you can go to Amazon, or it's on Kindle 2 also available uh, for purchase now also. Uh, but I really want you to join me and actually get some friends and some family members to join me on the journey. Uh, you, it will, you'll never be the same. That's all I can say. And this is just the first of many books that are going to come out about prayer. Uh, this is just the first one to kind of spark your interest, to spark a fire in you that will never go out. Because you're going to need more. And, and, and for me, I don't know everything, but I keep on pushing. I keep on growing every single day. And I'm just so amazed about how God is using me to, 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 to build different things and to create things and to change things and to speak healing and, and, and love into people's lives like never before. And I'm just so honored and appreciated so much. And um, while, while I'm at doing this video, I know this book has already been in different parts of the world. It's been in Nigeria. It's been in Israel. It's been in all types of the United States. And uh, it's going down to Panama. So many, it's already traveling the world. It, hasn't even came, it came out in October of 20, 21st of uh, 2016. I'm just so excited about the uh, the great movement is already starting, and I just want you to be a part of it. So I'm gonna actually go into the book a little bit, and actually part uh, part of the book actually says why 21 days, and I actually start off uh, reading uh, Daniel 10 12 14, um, and I did the King James version uh, for for uh, reviewing and reading, and, and what it says is, then he continued, do not be afraid, Daniel. Since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard and I have come in response to them. But the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me 21 days. Then Michael, one of the chief priests, came to help me because I was detained there with the king of Persia. Now I have come to explain to you what will happen to your people in the future for the vision concerns a time yet to come. And so that was Daniel 10, 12 through 14, King James Version. It's some key points in that chapter in that scripture that we hear that Daniel was praying 21 days. He was praying for 21 days and God heard his prayer the first time, the first day. He heard his prayer already. 
So for you people out there who are, are, are praying to God about, you know, finances or um, getting over sickness and diseases, um, healing and, and love and relationships and husbands and wives and all the different things that you're praying for, just know that God heard your prayer. But what it is, is the enemy has been sent to steal our prayers. He's been sent to steal all our desires, our dreams, our visions. Because here's the thing. If we pray and then God answers right away, which he already has in faith, he already has answered our prayers. But if it happens instantly, then the devil knows that then you know that your prayers work. But when you're first starting out and you, and you pray a little bit and you're starting to get into it a little bit more and you, you start believing God for some bigger things in life, like, God, I need a new car because the car that I have, I keep fixing it over and over again and keeps breaking down. So, God, I'm believing for this type of car. Let's say some Mercedes or whatever it is. And you pray for it and it instantly happens. Do you know how much power, you know how, do you know how much the enemy will be losing that quick, that fast? The enemy will know he's on a loot that he's losing because with with God, once you know that you know that you know that God moves through prayer and through action, your life is unlimited. Because then he then you know in your mind that you know what if I just like how David defeated the bear and he defeated the lion, he knew that. Once he knew that, when he seen Goliath, he was already knew. I just need to pray to my God. And he's going to take care of everything. That is the problem that's happening with people today. Once the people, the enemy has been sent to actually distract us from knowing that prayers work. See, it's to the point where, you know, we pray like, oh, thank you, Lord. And Lord, I just thank you for love. I just thank you for peace, Lord. And we stop there. We don't get angry and be like, Devil, you take your hands off my family. The sickness or diseases, the diabetes or, or struggle with late payments on bills. Lord, I come against it right now in the name of Jesus. You don't have the authority anymore because the devil has covered our eyes so much where we become distracted from the cares of the world. And we're not, we're not part of the world. We're better. We're stronger. We have a strength. We have a love like never before. We are the change agents. We are the fire starters. We bring light to every dark situation. We cancel every sickness and diseases. We move mountains every single day. We walk on water every single day. We have the strength. We have power. We are kings. We are deities. We own kingdoms. We have that dominion, that we have that power. And prayer builds that power. In this 21 days, what you will learn is your power that you have. It will awaken it like never before. You'll never be the same. And so I challenge you for 21 days, join me on this journey. Join your family, your friends, your ministry, your, your business, your jobs, your coworkers, whoever it is, find somebody to do this with. And y'all will never be the same, I promise you. My name is Ricardo Cordu. And like what I like to end all things is, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health that your days are sweet as honey and that your life bring you much joy and much laughter. Remember, life is love and love is life. I thank you so much. Please join me on the Rise Up and Pray prayer challenge. I challenge you today to spark your destiny like never before. I love you all. I don't know you yet, but once I get to know you, just know that I've been praying for you this whole time. Join me on Rise Up and Pray prayer challenge. Thank you so much.